Well, hi. Today we're in my portrait studio, but I'm using a different camera because something broke. That's technology. So here's the something that's going to work, my little digital camera. And I'm taking pictures, or taking this video, from the monitor of my computer. Okay, what you're looking at. The only picture I ever drew. I drew this consistently from the time I was like 10 years old until I was 26. This is all I could draw, but I had a passion to do portraits. I really did want to. I just didn't know how to draw. So there it is. I drew it again. You notice that I really also wanted to have straight hair. That's the straight hair. But now to my portrait studio. Here you go. And I'm going to point up to the portrait that's right up at the top right hand corner. That is the first painting that I did right there. I'm waving on it after I started art school. It was about six weeks after. And here it is, close up. If you came to my studio physically, it's there as a reminder of the fact that anyone can learn to draw and paint. It just takes a good teacher. I had one and I'm grateful. So there's my first portrait. And now I do portraits from people give me pictures and I do portraits from them. Here's the, the little boys that call them the brothers. And here's the painting that I did of the brothers. Here's a wonderful picture. This is Morgan. She's wearing her grandmother's hat in this photo that they gave me and her grandmother's t-shirt. How perfect. And that's the portrait painting that I did. I love to work for models. And Sophia was one of my favorite models. This is Sophia here on the left. That's a reference photo that I took so you could see it. And here's the painting that I did. I'm going to back up a little because this is very light and I don't want it to be that light. You can look at all the images at the bottom of the post and so you could see it down at the bottom after you watch this video. But this gives you an overview of people ask me to do portraits all the time. And this was one where this couple had the wedding in the backyard. They really didn't have very much that they could um, capture and remember. And their daughter asked me to do this portrait, which I did some 30 or 40 years after that wedding out in that backyard. And they're really happy with this portrait. You can see it in much better detail if you go to the pictures at the end. But I want you to have an overview. Now, I call these two sisters J and J. There's J and J. I hated the, the image that they gave me because it was like the photographer who took it was standing on a ladder looking way down on them. So I chose to do them close up. There they are. I think they're precious. I love this hair. I love painting hair. So that made it really easy for me. Okay, the next portrait. Well, look at who it is. It's Oliver. I loved Oliver. Oliver's grandma came to me and said, will you paint Oliver in an Andy Warhol style? And I said, I don't paint Andy Warhol style. But she insisted, insisted, and look at that face. So I painted uh, Oliver in the Andy Warhol style, and I painted him 40 inches by 40 inches. So there you have some of the portraits that I do. I love to paint portraits. I love doing my doodle, but I love that I now can do um, a whole lot more than doodle. Give me your portrait and I'd love to do one for you. So now you see the next portion of the Jackie Jacobson Studios is the portrait studio. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed doing it for you. This is number nine of my studio tour chapters. And um, I'll be back with number 10 and more information. But please let me know 
what I could do for you or what you think or what you'd like to have um, to know about because it just helps to know that you're out there wanting something and I hope I can give it to you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye for today.